Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today we're talking differentiation and looking at some of the different ways you can modify your worksheets to meet the needs of those different levels of learners within your classroom. So I'm going to go through and show you 10 different ways you can modify your worksheet. So we're going to very quickly look at the original worksheet because that's important so we have an understanding of what actually has been modified. So this is a year nine HBE worksheet for drugs and alcohol. And the kids had to pick a different type of stimulant, depressant, psychedelic, and a multi-action drug and answer some questions about those. So that's the original worksheet. See, there's a fair few questions there and there's a little bit that's asked to do. So some of the different modifications we can do. Firstly, I'm going to show you a major modification. So that's where I very much reduce the work quite a lot for some of your low level learners. So you can see I now have investigate one short term and long term effects. So I'm asking them to just give me one short term and one long term rather than generally the four or five you would expect from the students to give you. They are still required to describe the drug. I've kept that the same and I've taken out question three altogether. Okay, so I've kept it very simple, describe the drug and give me one short and long term. And obviously highlighting that word is also good for some of the kids. So they really have an understanding of exactly what's expected. And I've followed that same situation. And even down here in this last question, multi-action drug, I'm now asked them to just simply list the drug rather than tell me what it does and how it affects the body. And I've asked them to select which category it fits into these multi-action drugs. So instead of, again, explaining or giving me a, a big detailed explanation on why it fits into multiple categories, I'm just asking them to select which categories it actually fits into. I've also given them the drug wheel uh, sheet, which was given um, as a link up the top here. So I've gone to the effort of just putting it at the bottom, and even highlighting the three categories that are asking them to find an example of a drug for. So that's a major modification. A slightly less modification for a student. This time, question one still the same. Question two, I've asked them for two short and long-term effects. I've put question three back in there, but it's a simple yes or no question. So can you become dependent on the drug? Yes or no. I've just taken out the explanation or the justification behind why you can become dependent on that drug. And again, followed the same suit with all the other questions below. The next example of a um, modification is for a potential visual impairment. Now, this is something that the kids can do themselves by all means. They're probably very much used to if they have that visual impairment where they need to have that colored backdrop. But essentially what you can do in OneNote, if you go to the view section, you have a few options here with paper color. So you can change that to meet the needs of that student. But like I said, they probably likely gonna do that themselves. That might be more of just a check-in type thing with you, but just a cool thing of what you can do with just changing the background. Another one is just limited color. I have lots of color in my worksheets. I could even go this time taking out these infographs as well, but I've just kept in things very black and white just to make things a little bit easier for some of those kids with some of those different uh, visual impairments where color may be a little bit too much for them. Number five is an audio explanation. So it's an exact same worksheet that you have from the original. All I've done is gone to the effort of adding an, an additional explanation. So that's just an insert recordio of me talking through the worksheet. We can have a listen. All right, so in this worksheet, we're looking at um, types of drugs. Uh, so you're gonna be using the drug wheel on the previous page. Okay, so that's just, that took me a minute or two to record. You can see at the top there, one minute 42. Um, a very quick, just an additional explanation. Some of the kids um, just need to be able to take in that information in their own time and to be able to process it and go back and listen to the instruction maybe after the teacher's given it to them. I find it's something very quick and easy to do as the teacher. You set it up in the worksheet and you obviously distribute that to, uh, to all students if necessary. Or you can go into select students' worksheets and then just drop that audio recording in there. The next one is multiple audio recordings. So that was just one large audio that explained the entire worksheet. You could have specific audios for specific questions. For example, let's have a listen to question three. All right, so for question three, we want you to explain if you can become dependent on that drug. So what that's asking is... All right, you get the idea? So. I guess as right, so question three, each, we want you again, to pause that as they're going through each question, they can quickly just get a little snapshot and an additional explanation or maybe a little bit more 
um, examples or scaffolding for the kids that they can sit back and, and listen to as well. So it also helps obviously kids with any um, audio or um, um, impairments and things like that, that they can actually listen to it in their own time or they can put their headphones in and listen to them obviously with the volume up. Um, also kids that are just, I guess, a bit slow in processing instructions, information, or they just simply forgot, or they're a little bit confused on what they have to do for that qu question. The next one, take it a little bit step further, is adding a screen recording explanation. So we've gone audio, now gone screen recording. It obviously just adds that visual element of you moving and scrolling and talking through the OneNote. You can obviously use your draw tool as you're going through it. You can type in some suggested answers, things like that, make links and reference back to previous information. And again, if you want to go the full extent, I've done this for obviously the entire worksheet just for ease because it's only one. All right, guys, video. just a quick. Uh... And I've put that on YouTube and then kept it as unlisted and then just pasted that straight into the worksheet. And again, I could send that out to everybody um, or I could just put it into individualized students' worksheets. I could go to the extent of doing a video for every question. I don't have the time then to quite to go that far, but a very cool um, way for the kids to be able to, especially if maybe you're away or they're away, um, or there's some anomalies like that that occur within the classroom, they can still get that teacher explicit explanation instruction, even if you're not in the room, even in this remote stuff that we've been going through recently. The next one, you can't see any obvious modifications. We call this audio response. So some kids are unable or struggle to get pen to paper or to put their thoughts into words, but they can very much um, verbally speak what their answer is or say what they want to say. So it could just be that certain students, you get them to use that insert audio function um, on, which is up here, insert audio, and they can just verbally record their answers in. Comes up a little um, audio add-in that you've seen in the previous page. And then you can go through and listen to the kids answer. You might even give them an audio feedback back to them as well. Um, it could be for differentiation. You could just do it for a fun activity um, where you just get the kids to have a bit of fun and verbally saying their answers or work together, do a little podcast on an answer. Number nine is we're looking at some of our, um, I guess our better students in trying to challenge or push them is at the bottom of a worksheet, chuck in a challenge question for them, something a little bit harder um that maybe makes them think moving towards those higher order thinking skills and it's something that you can become a thing so that every worksheet there's a challenge question at the bottom that the kids need to go in and do for example this one evaluate the physical or mental health effects you think would most likely discourage a young person from using drugs that's a much uh, a lot more complicated and harder question than what has been asked of them in some of the questions above so or by all means, at the end of each worksheet, throw in something to challenge those kids. And even for those kids that generally they're your early finishers as well, something for them to go on and do as well. And number 10 is just a concept really, not necessarily um, adding more work, but if you're finished early, you might become you might become a thing within your lessons that you then become an expert. So you then have the opportunity to go around the class and help others and teach others and try to enable some of that peer teaching that you know the kids can get more value out of that sometimes than we can ever offer them. And this is something that's super easy. Once you've created this little setup, all you have to do is screenshot it and you can just drop it at the bottom of all your worksheets. So you don't have to recreate the same little setup again every time you do it. And the last one, a little bonus, like I said, is this you're just putting nine and 10 together, okay? So you've got a challenge question. And even if you finish that, um, go and become an expert. That just might become a thing within your classrooms that um, you try to encourage that peer teaching and moving around the room and assisting others. All right, so that's it for 10 different ways plus a bonus that you can modify or differentiate your worksheets in Microsoft OneNote. Thanks for listening.